Greetings Kincaid community. This is Headmaster Andy Martiri with my May video message. Believe it or not, this is the ninth Headmaster video message of this school year. Back in September, we started out and I had a construction hat on then as our garage was just starting to go up. And now it's May, the garage is completed. And behind me, you see our new dining and learning center is looking great and coming along really well. Here's a look at what happened during the month of May on campus. If you have not heard by now, this month for the first time, we were able to call everyone who donated to Kincaid this year, over 2,400 people, and say thank you through the Kincaid Thank You Project. As we say time and time again, the support of our generous donor community means the world to our students, faculty, and staff. I would like to say one more time, thank you very much for your ongoing generosity and support. Our fourth graders put on quite the show as they wrap the year up with their Living History Museum. If you did not get a chance to stop by the lower school, each student put on a wonderful presentation of America's most historical figures. From astronauts to legendary athletes, you name it, it was there. Thank you to all of the parents who took time out of their busy schedules to drop by and see a fantastic display of knowledge from some of our youngest Falcons. After recognizing our highly talented students for arts performances and athletic achievements throughout the year, we finally had a chance to award those who had worked the hardest in the classroom. So many students who show passions for various subjects were recognized last week during honor days for all three divisions. We congratulate them on their hard work and encourage them as they pursue their endeavors next school year. Upper school athletics ended the year in a big way. For the second year in a row, the athletic department was awarded the SPC Athletic Director's Cup. The award is given annually to the school with the best overall success in SPC athletics. Based on the order of SPC tournament finishes for each of our 23 varsity sports, our girls program finished first, our boys program finished second, and for co-ed schools, we finished first overall. What an amazing year for them, and congratulations to our student athletes and our coaches. We have seven faculty and staff members with 10 or more years of service to Kincaid who are either retiring or moving on to other exciting opportunities. A few weeks ago, we were able to say thank you very much to these seven faculty and staff members for all of their outstanding service to Kincaid. Their service totals 167 years. Can you believe that? It's truly bittersweet. We appreciate their time and dedication, and we wish them the best of luck going forward. Last but not least, the senior class of 2016 has finally left the Kincaid Nest. These bright and talented students graduated last weekend and enjoyed an inspiring message from Joe Ehrman as they received their diplomas. Mr. Ehrman and his wife founded Building Men and Women for Others, an organization that addresses many societal challenges, including violence, child advocacy, and much more. I'm proud to say that our graduates will be continuing their education at some of the most prominent institutions throughout our state, across our nation, and even one in Canada. Whether it's in the arts, athletics, or academics, I know they are prepared for all that's ahead of them. Let's continue to wish them the best of luck as they move forward and we can't wait to see all of the amazing things they will accomplish in the years to come. In closing, let me thank our students, parents, faculty and staff and alumni for all your support during what has been a truly outstanding 2015-16 school year. I wish everyone a wonderful summer and when you come back for school on August 22nd, our new Dining and Learning Center will be up and running and ready for you, students. My last piece of advice for the summer is don't forget your summer reading. Thanks, everybody, and see you in August.